We had a remarkable summer, just a great start. My favorite part of the journey so far is when we finally got the whole staff and all of the team, the returners with the new recruits and the unique aspect of having all the former players back that came back to be a part of the TBT. That was definitely a highlight of the beginning of this journey. And I think there's just been a real energy that people believe and have high expectations for Red Raider basketball. Let's get after it, let's go. To handle the adversity that comes with a season, you have to have a connected group. I mean, that's the one thing that's been established from the beginning. Give our guys credit. I mean, these guys really enjoy being around each other. They love the game of basketball, and they love to be around their teammates. So much of the summer was about our team connecting to a deeper level. It was spent in ways where one player was able to meet another player, not just meet a player at the superficial level of that word. It's dive deeply into a relationship with that player. Good job, good. Summer was really good. I mean, it was fun bringing in a completely brand new group of guys. Um, just trying to mesh together, trying to get things going back on the right track. You know, time went by fast, but I feel like, you know, we've been meshing really well and, you know, we're one month out, so it's going to be fun for sure. I think we're, we're right on time for where we need to be. With Coach McCaslin's vision, doing hard things with each other, whether that be a practice where it becomes increasingly more demanding or lift on a day that your body is already telling you that it's fatigued, you're finding out who each other is on those kind of days. And then you really think critically about whether or not you know somebody. When you think that way, you can find out, when you put the puzzle pieces together, you can find out how well you really do know somebody. We locked in though, you feel me? We back in action, you feel me? Here we go, here we go. What are we doing this morning? Oh, we finna get right. Get a little, little weight, get a little practice. Get up and down, you feel me? Get the chemistry going. We're gonna get work out here. Not really anything's going to change in terms of our routine. We're going to be out here for the first portion, and then we're going to go back this way, and I'll show you how to get back to the weight room if you don't know at this point. But this is going to be our home on any day that we practice in this building. If we practice here, we're going to lift here. Let's have a good day in here, great day in the weight room, and then we'll have a great practice. Here we go, one heartbeat. Here we go. Give me three. Out of 80, 20 J. You ever feel like you want to stop? You ever been close to the top? You ever looked at your past and kept moving forward and never looked back? This is the fight of your life. You're looking in the mirror and the belief that you have will help you see it clearer. This is your moment of clarity. It gets no real. If you're finding yourself and you're, everybody's doing something but you, then you need to get in there and do something. Everybody has a responsibility. Let's go have a great practice. You got about four minutes. Yep. When I stepped in the arena, you know, I just looked around and I was just saying, wow, like, this place is amazing. You know, um, I feel comfortable in here, you know, and I'm ready to, to show out, you know what I mean? I'm ready to, to, to give the fans what they want, you know what I mean, what they need, and, and I'm ready to play for my team and win, you know? So going in there just to practice, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't wait to, you know, get it started, get it ready to go. Yeah. Honestly, since I've been here, I feel like I bring that competitive nature. You know, I always get, like, I feel like I get the best out of everybody and myself. And that's the, that's the part I like about it. Everybody's working hard, everybody's in the gym. And it's, it's rare to find a team that, that all, like, really, like, loves the game. You know, you know, takes care of themselves, you know, just, just playing for each other, not selfishly, you know, trying to do the right thing. So, you know, I'm excited for this team to see where, you know, it takes us. What I want you to hear, and this is really important, really important, there has to be a way that you have expectation that everything you do impacts winning and you got to compete that way. So we're doing slide fill pop, you got to do it with purpose and you got to shoot shots on balance and there can't be one shot, there can't be one uh, catch that you're not trying to find a way to what? 
win. Honestly, it has to be the mentality. It's the only way we'll do it together. So like, yeah, you got to transition from, okay, we're doing a defensive, I'm guarding the ball, I'm jumping to the ball, now I'm rotating, and it's like Coach B telling you what to do, and to all of a sudden you got to like do it to win for two minutes. Yeah, who can do that? Yeah, who can do that, Dev? Who can sit over here at halftime and go like, this is what we got to do to win the game? And then the first two minutes of the second half determines the win. Retreat was awesome just to get to know people on a deeper level and have fun with each other and kind of just, you know, cell phones were off and there's really no distractions. You just, you really get to kind of just be around each other and enjoy each other's company. And, you know, we did some high rope stuff and zip lines and stuff guys have never done before. And you get to experience that and, and you get to experience it together. It only helps your, your team chemistry. On paper, it seems like it's just a weekend getaway, but in, in all reality, I think the most impactful thing for me was one, spending time with the guys away from the court, and two, learning about your team. So I think if you do things that guys aren't used to doing on a day-to-day -day basis and you make them, put them in uncomfortable positions, uh, I think you learn a lot about guys intangibly. Three, two, one, get up. Oh, yeah! It's like when I let it go, you just bring it like, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, Thank you. <laughs> man, I learned so much about myself as a man, you know, pushing myself past my limits of things that I thought I would be willing to do. Um, and I got that from our players. I watched some of our guys do things that they never thought they would do that were hard to do and I watched them do it. I watched them agonize, preparing to do it. And it put me like, yo, if they can do that, I'm willing to do it too. So I learned a lot that our guys can go past their own level of expectation, and so can we as a staff. We got it. Hey! We had the zip lines, and that was my first time getting on the zip line. And I'm pretty sure that was the first time for everyone else to move, or, or most people. Um, it was scary, but it was fun. We gonna win because of this, Warren. Warren. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just here so I don't get fun. <laughs> the retreat did exactly what we needed it to do. It took the phone out of the player's hand, it took the phone out of the coach's hand, and it made us all step back, be able to find out who each other is when there's no basketball involved. Oh, that looks perfect. Actually, looks good. The treat was cool, man. It was different. I mean, we're in the middle of the woods with no phone for a day, but I mean, it was it was cool, man. Just to bond with everybody, and you know, we were forced to talk to each other. You know, did some really fun activities together. So, I feel like it brought us closer as a team. That's what I think the weekend was for. It's like, how do you develop a real, genuine depth to a relationship that maybe the outward basketball result isn't how you identify your success. You, you really do identify your success being how are you there for people in difficult times and how much do you believe to help others believe in a, in, and work through those difficult times. That way you achieve your greatness and your, your absolute best and your maximum potential. And we're really looking forward to, to pushing ourselves these next few weeks and in this next month to find out how we can best prepare ourselves for a great non-conference and obviously Big 12 conference play.